$500 is placed in a savings account that compounds interest annually at a rate of 2.5%. In Part A, write a function a of t that relates the amount of the investment a with the elapsed time t. We can use the exponential form y equals a times b raised to the power of t over p to answer this question. First, we'll determine the growth rate. We know the growth rate is 2.5% per year. When we have an increasing percent, we add it to 1. The B value for this question is 1 plus 0 0.025 equals 1.025. The function is a of t equals 500 times 1.025 raised to the power of t. Now we'll move on to part b. How much will the investment be worth in five years? How much interest has been received? Rewrite the function from part a a of t equals 500 times 1.025 raised to the power of t. Plug 5 years into the function. This returns an amount of $565.70. The amount of the investment in 5 years is $565.70, and $65.70 of interest has been received. In Part C, draw the graph for the first 20 years. Bring up the function and the grid. Draw the function. Now we'll move on to part D. How long does it take for the investment to double? Rewrite the function from part A. A of t equals 500 times 1.025 raised to the power of t. Plug in $1,000 for the future amount. This is double the initial amount of $500. Divide both sides by 500. This gives us the equation 2 equals 1.025 raised to the power of t. We can solve this by graphing. Graph each side of the equation with the window settings shown. The point of intersection is 28, 2. The investment will double in 28 years. The logarithmic solution is provided here for those who have completed the later lessons. Now we'll move on to part E. Calculate the amount of the investment in five years if compounding occurs 1. semi-annually, 2. monthly, and 3. daily. Interest is often compounded at the following intervals. Annually, which is compounded one time each year. Semi-annually, which is compounded two times each year. Monthly, which is compounded 12 times each year. And daily, which is compounded 365 times each year. When we are compounding interest at non-annual intervals, we can use the following formula to get the growth rate. Growth rate equals annual interest divided by the number of compounding periods.
We'll begin by calculating the amount compounded semi-annually. The period is half a year. There are two compounding periods, so divide the interest rate by 2 to get 1.25%. Write this as a function. Note that we can avoid rounding by writing the interest portion in the function as 0 0.025 over 2. This returns an amount of $566.14. Now we'll calculate the amount compounded monthly. The period is one twelfth of a year. There are 12 compounding periods, so divide the interest rate by 12 to get approximately 0.21%. Write this as a function. This returns an amount of $566.50. Now we'll calculate the amount compounded daily. The period is 1 365th of a year. There are 365 compounding periods, so divide the interest rate by 365 to get approximately 0.0068%. Write this as a function. This returns an amount of $566.57. Summarize the results in a table. We can see from the table that as the compounding frequency increases, there is less and less of a monetary increase. Semi-annual compounding nets 44 cents more than annual compounding, but daily compounding nets only 7 cents more than monthly compounding.